Hi, this is uh, Dr. Sridhar Guduri. I uh, work with um, Allergy and Asthma Clinics of Ohio, based in Dublin, and with satellites in uh, Columbus, Westerville, Grove City, Zanesville, and Mansfield. Allergy shots, uh, the, in, in medical terms, it's called immunotherapy, and the reason for that is uh, they boost the immune system so that their immune system is better able to fight the allergies, for lack of a better term. Uh, it is one of the treatment options for allergies. Usually we consider allergy shots when environmental measures and uh, medications are not working very well and the patient is still having a poor quality of life. What the shots involve is, uh, depending on the schedule, weekly or twice a week injections administered in a medical facility. The injections consist of uh, the things or the allergens that the patient is uh, allergic to. It starts off with a very low dose and then the doses increase every week or a few times a week depending on the schedule until they reach a target dose. The idea behind this is to change the immune response in such a way that they're not going down the allergy pathway which is also called Th2 but we are trying to drive the immune response towards a Th1 pathway, which is a non-allergic pathway, so that they don't have the allergy symptoms. There are different indications for allergy shots. One, only one of them is uh, tree pollen allergies. We give shots for many other conditions, including uh, pet allergies, uh, year-round allergies caused by dust mites. And the other major condition where the allergy shots work very well is uh, insect allergies. Patients allergic to honeybees, wasps, or hornets, they respond very, very well to allergy shots. There are a few criteria before we start the allergy shots. One is the environmental measures and uh, medications are not working. Two is other comorbid conditions like uh, asthma, chronic sinusitis, are present, which are making the patient have a poor quality of life. Three is when the patient does not wish to take medications for a major part of the year. Allergy shots have uh, two phases. One is the build-up phase and uh, second is maintenance phase. If you follow the regular schedule, which is the classic weekly schedule, the build-up phase takes about six to eight months and uh, the maintenance phase is continued for anywhere from three to five years. So I would say the whole shot schedule would be about three to five years depending on the patient's response and reactions. Classic schedule, it takes about six to 12 months to see the first response, but there are other schedules called uh, rush and uh, cluster immunotherapy, which are high risk procedures, but the reward is also high because they start working sooner than the classic schedule. The side effects uh, can be local or systemic. By local, I mean at the site of the injection, it could become red, swollen, a little bit painful. Local reactions are treatable, in fact, very easily with antihistamines or maybe some topical steroids. What we worry about most with allergy shots is systemic reactions, where you can have a anaphylactic reaction at the worst. Anaphylactic reaction is where you can have a throat swelling, a race swelling, shortness of breath, wheezing, and low blood pressure because of the reaction to the allergy shot. Now, this is very, very rare, but this is one of the known risks of allergy shots. This is the reason why we don't give allergy shots at a non-medical facility. I would start with avoidance measures first. Things like not being outdoors early in the morning because the pollen counts are highest between 6 and 10 a.m., having a shower as soon as uh, they're done playing outside. Number two is medications. Now, parents have to remember the medications work very well if they are started before the onset of the symptoms. If they already know the children's uh, allergies. For example, if you already know that your kid is gonna have allergies starting March 1st, it's always better to start the medications probably around February 15th and continue every day through the allergy season. I think medications work much better that way 
rather than playing catch up by using them just as needed. If these two things don't work, you have to see an allergist to see if allergy shots would be an option.